वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट फील्ड्स फॉर टी ई मोड एंड टी एम मोड सिंस वी नो डैट द रेक्टेंगुलर वेव गाइड प्रोवाइड्स द सपोर्ट ओनली फॉर टी ई मोड एंड टी एम मोड बट ऑन द अदर हैंड इट डज नॉट सपोर्ट टी ई एम मोड दैट इज ट्रांसफर्स इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक मोड नाउ इफ यू फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट द टी ई मोड देन लेट एस एज्यूम डेट आर वेव इज प्रोपगेटिंग इन पॉजिटिव जेड डायरेक्शन Since it is positive z direction propagation, that's why our wave is also being oriented, having the x direction which is horizontally oriented and the y direction which is vertically oriented. So let us take an example. According to the example number one, here is the electric field which varies like this with respect to a. so here is the a which is denoting the width of this wave guide or we can say that breadth of this wave guide and b is the width of this wave guide and the electric field varies in this direction with respect to a and if we talk about the electric field with respect to b then it varies like this now if you want to determine that which type of te mode is this field pattern showing then we need to count the number of variation for the electric field first of all we have to count the number of variation with respect to a so here all the directions are same that is in the upward direction with respect to a so here is only one variation with respect to a so we can say that here the value of m is equals to 1 only now we have to calculate the number of variation with respect to b since all the directions are same so we can say that the value of n is equal also equals to 1 only that's why on the basis of the value of m and n we can say that this is te 11 mode first of all we will write the value of m and then we will write the value of n so it is te11 mode let us take a second example that is the variation of electric field like this with respect to a and the variation of electric field with respect to b varies like this now we have to count down the value of variation with respect to a so with respect to a here are the number of variations that is equals to 3 only because here is the upward direction so this is counted as 1 here is the downward direction so this is 2 and again here is a upward direction so it is 3 so the number of variations is 3 with respect to a now if we calculate the variation with respect to b then here is only one variation so the value of n here is equals to 1 only and if we determine the value of te mode then it will be equals to te first of all the value of m that is 3 and in place of n we write 1 so it is te 31 mode now let us take a last example associated with te mode so here is the variation with respect to b so the electric field varies like this with respect to b and there is no variation with respect to a in this example so if we calculate the variation with respect to a then it comes to zero only but if we calculate the variation with respect to b then the value of n will become 2 because here is the one variation that is in the rhs direction and here is the left hand side direction so here is the second variation so the number of 
variation is equal to 2 only and the type of TE mode that is equal to in place of M we write 0 in place of N we write 2 so it is TE 0 2 mode so here is the method by which we will draw and determine the type of TE mode now let us have a look at the TM mode representation so it is based on the current wave since it is based on the current wave that's why we can say that it will always be represented by the help of dot say here is a dot and if we draw the corresponding line with respect to A then it will be like this and here is the current wave with respect to B so in this scenario if we determine the value of the TM mode then it is equal to here is the one current wave that's why the value of M is equal to 1 here and here is the one current wave with respect to B so the value of N is also being equal to 1 so the type of TM mode is nothing but equal to TM 1 1 mode secondly let us assume that here are the four dots if we join these all dots by the help of current waves then it will form this type of structure now let us count the number of current wave with respect to A so here are the one wave and here is second wave so the number of wave with respect to A is nothing but equals to 2 only so the M value is 2 and if we count the value of current wave with respect to B then here is the one wave and here is second wave so the value of N is nothing but equals to 2 so we can say that this is nothing but TM in place of M we write 2 in place of N we write 2 so this is TM 2 2 mode now let us discuss the case in which there are 6 dots in this way if we join them by the help of current waves then it will form a similar structure like now let us count the current wave with respect to A so here is the one wave and here is second wave so the value of M is nothing but equals to 2 let us count the current wave with respect to B so here is one wave here is second and here is third wave so here the value of N is nothing but equals to 3 only and if we determine the value of TM mode then it is TM to 3 mode so this is all about the field patterns with respect to TE mode and TM mode if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you